Hello, my name is Markham Vitorshruit from Markham3D.com and we're going to try and create a cityscape using the least amount of clicks as possible with the add-on called Scene City and the link is below. Now also if you're a fan of this channel, please make sure you hit subscribe down the bottom there just to help me out. So let's start counting out these clicks. Layer 19, 1. The Scene button, 2. Scroll down to the bottom, Expand City Scene, 3. Import Library of Roads and Buildings to Active Layer, Four. Layer one, five. Place roads in 3D space, six. Click the buildings tab, seven. Place buildings along the roads, eight. In eight clicks, we've created this cityscape. Now, I'm gonna call it there, eight clicks. I'm going to reset the camera, Alt-R, Alt-G. I'm going to rotate X 90 degrees and rotate Z 90 degrees, G to move, Y. All right, now I'm just gonna put this in a beautiful position. I'm gonna press five to go into orthographic mode because that's what I prefer. Let's find something appealing. Here we go. This is kind of cool. I don't really want the background in. Well, actually, no. What we'll do is let's throw a HDRI in, in the background. Now, there's a whole bunch that comes with Scene City and City Terrain. So I'm going to go over to the top here, Composition. I'm going to select Use Nodes. First, I'm going to go Materials, then World, then Use Nodes. I'm going to Shift A, Search, Enviro, Environment Texture. I'm going to click Open, and I'm going to find my one. Let's pick one at random, connect it into here. And this is all we've done. And I am just gonna press F12 now. And now without even changing any of the render settings, this is what we've created in eight clicks. Now our Nord has created two add-ons, Scene City and Scene Terrain. Scene Terrain creates a terrain pretty much exactly the same as well, instantly done. I will show you another render that I did. Now this is a render that I made very quickly. I just quickly threw a depth of field on there. This render came out a little bit grainy, but with adjustments, I'm sure it'll be fine. So if you want to pick up these wonderful add-ons and support Anu, click on the link below and pick them up for yourself and go from there. He is also working on a node-based system, which is very interesting. And I look forward to the developments that come out of that one because it looks like it's gonna have a lot more control. 